hello everybody hope you guys are doing amazing in today's video we got another outfit request by someone off discord this time actually um he's a uh long supporter of the channel and he requested this nice jersey outfit but with the uh, tron shoes and the becker shoes and then you know the outfit shows uh so yeah let's get into it and you know as always thank you for requesting the outfit Okay, so obviously we're going to start off with our C2 keep, put that in our C2 slot. Now we equip any racing suit with the logos you want. Every racing suit works besides the, the navy racing suit. I'm going to be using the green racing suit. Once you've picked one you want, put it in our C1 slot. Head over to the t-shirt section. Or the shirt, and then go to t-shirt. Gonna be looking for the orange v-neck t-shirt once you equip that put that on merge slot all right wish everything just go ahead and equip the c1 outfit apply an israel parachute let the game save before lagging your wi-fi connection with netcode Alright, so we'll slow it down on console 2, equip this C2 outfit, which should be our C2 keep. Apply an Israel parachute, and let it save through for leaving the story mode. Once you've done that, you should be back on console 1, and you just take off the parachute and unlike your game. When we load in, we should look like this. Now just start any merging mission I have linked in the description. As always, make sure it's on player on clothing and invite a friend or not to join. All right, now just merge everything over. You should see the t-shirt being moved on with the logos. Now just go save it in your apartment. All right, so we can just save this in a C1 slot. And have your alt or your friend blow themselves up so we don't lead a mission and have a risk of going into passport. We're working on this out for a little bit later. Right now we're going to be flipping our jogger color. Now I was just going to flip the joggers with the Tron shoes as you see here to red. But in case some of you guys do not know how to merge on the shoes to the red joggers, I am not going to flip at the same time. I'm going to flip the joggers and then merge on the red Tron shoes. Uh, so yeah. So put any any of our colored joggers in the um, an extra spot down here, and call it our C1. And what we're going to do is head over to the pants section, equip the uh, peach digital cargo pants and the cargo pants. They should be 25 out of 45, so just equip. Put this in wing. Not equipped, save this in our C2 slot. Somewhere out of way, like we did the first one. Equip our C1 outfit. Apply a classic parachute. Let the game save before lagging your Wi Fi with neck cut. And once loaded in console 2, equip our C2 outfit, which should be the Peach Digital Cargo Pants. And once we equip it, just like last time, put on the classic parachute. Let the game save before loading into story mode. Now, once you're back on console one, just take off the parachute and unlike your game. Now let's go head over to the clothing store and save them. All right, so we're gonna be merging on the red Tron shoes. So, uh, I'm gonna take off the pants. I mean, not the pants, take off the shoes. Save this in our C1 slot down here. You won't find those anywhere else. And in our C2, equip the go, go down the sport shoes and equip the red cross trainers. And save that in our C2 outfit slot down here. And now, if you do not already have the suit bought, or if you not, do not have it unlocked, 
just equip any outfit you have with the uh, Tron shoes and put the Fall Cross Trainers down here as your C2 and use a classic parachute. But I'm either, I think I have it unlocked, but if I don't, I'm just gonna buy it. Did you find your size? Yeah, I do. So put the Retron shoot in our merge slot. Equip the C1 outfit, which should be the joggers. Apply a classic parachute. Let the game save before lagging your Wi-Fi connection with Netcut. And once load on console 2, we should have equipped a C2 outfit, which should be the joggers and the Red Cross trainers. Once we equipped the outfit, just put on any classic parachute. We'll let the game save before leaving the story mode. And once you're back on console one, just take off the parachute and unlag your game. load back online and we should load in like this we should not uh, have any shoes on and if you did load in like that just start up the emerging mission again as always clear on coding and invite a friend or not to join all right once loading go once to the left once to the right or once to the right and once to the left depending on where your merge slot is and ready up so once we load back, or once we load into the mission, we should see that the Tron shoes should have merged over to the outfit. Now let's go to our apartment to save the outfit. All right, I know my outfit has gloves on it, but I'm going to be applying a T-shirt so so we can merge on the gloves that we were supposed to merge on. Yeah, I'm just going to be applying a random shirt. But you don't have to do that, all you have to do is just save it. We can put this in our C1 office slot, save it down here. Have your friend or your alt blow themselves up to avoid going to bad support by leaving these missions. Alright, so this should be saved in our C1 office slot, saved a little bit down here. Now we're going to go over to the gloves section. We are going to be applying the gray digital tactical gloves. These gloves will allow us to merge the racing suit logo, um, sorry, the racing suit gloves that we want to merge over, or any other gloves you want to merge over to the outfit. They should be 26 out of 62. Now go save this in our C2 outfit slot. Save a little bit down here. Now you can either use a different biker or, um, Sorry, biker clubs, but I'm going to be using the red and black ones. Yeah, these. It kind of matches with the Tron shoes, so we just go ahead and put this in our merge slot. Equip the C1 outfit now. Apply a classic parachute and let the game save before leaving the story mode. Alright, once we spawn in on console 2, equip the C2 outfit. Which should be the same outfit, just with the gray digital tactical gloves. Put on a classic parachute. Let the game save before lagging your Wi-Fi. Or, I mean, leaving the story mode, sorry. Once you're back in console 1, just take off the parachute and unlag your game. Alright, so we should spawn in without the gloves, or without the digital tactical gloves. Now I start up the emerging mission. As always, put on clothing and I invite a friend or your alt to join. Alright, so just merge the gloves over and go save it in our apartment. Now go ahead and save this in our merge slot because we're going to be merging all this over to the main outfit with logos. Once you save it, you can go ahead and delete all the other um, C1 and C2s down here, so you don't get so you don't get confused. Now have your friend or the alt to blow themselves up again, so we don't leave the mission risking um, going into best port.
Alright, so we're going to put our C1 outfit. We're going to go to tops. We're going to get rid of this belt. So yeah, I think it's considered a belt. I'm going to head over to pants. Go to shorts. And we're going to be equipping the Love Heart Boxer shorts. Which they should be in 60 out of 108. We're just going to take off our shoes and save this in our C1 outfit slot. Now while we're still at our shoe section, we're going to be going down to Smart Shoes, Red Cross Trainers, go back to the pants, cargo pants, and we're going to be equipping the sand cargo. Now head over to the gloves section. We're going to be equipping the gray digital tactical gloves, so the gloves will merge over as well. And we are going to go save this in our C2 outfit slot. So our merge slot, our C1, and our C2. Equip the C1 outfit and apply a classic parachute. Let the game save before lagging your Wi-Fi connection. And once we load on our console 2, we should equip the C2 outfit, which should be the same cargoes, the gloves, and the shoes. Now after we equip it, all we want to do is equip the classic parachute, let the game save before leaving the storm mode. Alright, and once you've done that, just take off the parachute on console 1 and unlike your game. Alright, and then when we load back online, we should be looking like this. Which looked like the uh, RC1 outfit, which means you did it correct. Now just try and start up an emerging mission. As always, per own clothing, invite a friend or not to join. Once, once you load in, just go once to the left and once to the right, or once to the right and once to the left, depending on where your merge slot is. Everything should merge over, now just go save in your apartment. Alright, so go ahead and save this somewhere out the way because when we're working on the top part of this outfit, we gotta make sure the top part of the outfit is um, set up for when we do the pogo goggles. Sorry, pogo goggles. So I'm gonna save it down here. And now we're gonna be working on the top, which is the jersey and the body armor. So once you saved it, as always, make sure your friend or the alt blows himself up to avoid, to avoid going to bad sport. Alright, so we're going to be turning any of our body armor to, um, to red. So all you want to do is make sure you got a, um, an outfit with a colored armor. If you don't, then just use a CEO vest, that's fine. Um, but equip a standard outfit, or any outfit you can have body armor on. Inventory, body armor, and we are going to be putting on uh, the... Light armor, sorry I zoned up for a second, I kind of forgot what it was for a second. But the light armor, style, parachute, and to put on the Israel parachute, let the game save before lagging your Wi-Fi. And once we spawn on console 2, just equip any outfit with the body armor. And once you've done that, Equip the Israel Parachute, let the game save before leaving the story mode. And once you've done that, just take off the Israel Parachute and unlock your game. Did everything correctly, we should load in with the red body armor. Now just go save it in our merge slot at the gun at the um, clothing store. Alright, so as I said, we're going to be putting this in our merge slot. Head over to the top section. I'm going to scroll down until we find track jackets. We're going to be equipping the navy track jacket. This will turn our jersey to red. Inventory, body armor, and apply the heavy body armor. Put this in our C1 outfit slot. Now as for our 
jersey. I'm gonna be clipping any jersey outfit. I'm gonna be changing the pants so the armor doesn't get in the way. And then save this in our C2 outfit slot. Alright, so equip a C1 outfit. And apply the Israel parachute bag. Let the game save before lagging your Wi-Fi connection. Alright, so once you load it on console 2, we're going to be equipping the C2 outfit, which should be the jersey. Equip an Israel parachute. Let the game save before loading to story mode. Now once you're back on console 1, then just take off the parachute and unlike your game. Now just start up any merging mission. As always, player on clothing and invite a friend or not to join. Now just merge everything over. The body armor should emerge over to the jersey. Now just ready up and go save it in your apartment. And we can delete all of this. Now have your friend or your alt blow themselves up to avoid going to passport by leaving the mission. All right, so now we're gonna equip this outfit and say, um, put it in our C1 slot. For our C2, we can go down to Arena War. I can see you wearing Character that. suits and equip the Pogo Space Monkey. And for a merge slot, all we're gonna do is equip the C2K outfit and put it in our merge slot. Now, equip the C1 outfit, accessories, masks, and we're looking for the Fierce and Krampus mask. Then go to parachutes. Oh, I gotta let the game save. Give me a second. Alright, so once you equip the mask, just equip the Israel parachute. Let the game save before lagging your Wi Fi connection. Once you load it on console 2, equip the C2 outfit. Don't put on any parachute, just equip it. Let the game save before leaving the story mode. Alright, so once you're done that, just equip the outfit, the C1 outfit. It'll take off both parachute and the mask. Now just unlike your game. Alright, so we just spawn in looking like this. Start up slow and low this time. The Poco goggles can only be saved in the gun stores, so that's why we're using slow and low. Alright, so just go ahead and merge everything. And ready up. Now once it's loaded, you should see the Poco goggles being on the outfit. So now just go save it in the nearest gun store. Alright, so at the gun store, we're going to be saving this outfit in our C2 slot. I like saving it twice just in case to be safe, you know? Now once you've saved it, blow yourself up to avoid going to Bassport by leaving the job. All right, so we're back in the online session. As you can see, the Poco goggles are now on the outfit. So equip the uh, other outfit again. This time go to inventory, body armor, and equip the heavy body armor. And go save this in our C1 outfit slot. Now for a C2 slot, we're going to be equipping the outfit we made earlier with the jersey and armor. This will be in our merge slot. So the merge slot, C1, and C2. So equip the C1 outfit and apply an Israel parachute. Let the game save before lagging your Wi-Fi. 
Alright, so once you load it on console 2, equip the C2 outfit, which should be the logos with the uh, Pogo goggles on it. Apply an Israel parachute. Let the game save before leaving the story mode. Alright, so once you're back on console 1, just take off the parachute and unlock your game. We spawn back online and we should look like this. Now start up slow and low again. Invite your friend out to join and as always, make sure it's on player owned clothing. Now just merge everything over and start the mission. As we load in, you should see the pogo goggles on the outfit. So we're just going to go to the gun store and save it. Alright, so you can go ahead and save it wherever you want to save it, since this is basically the finished outfit. We just gotta flip the bulletproof helmet or whatever hat you're using. I'm gonna name it Red with Goggles. Or Red with Pogo. Now just blow yourself up again, so we don't get put in password for leaving jobs. Okay, so it turns out I don't have a bulletproof helmet yet, or I must have deleted mine, so I'm going to be using the truck off hats, but you can use whatever you want to. Go to hats, biker hats, baggy helmets, and we're looking for the green dome, which should be 12 out of 30. Now just equip a pair of glasses, and unlock your, I mean, log your game when it finishes saving. Alright, so if you did everything correctly, you see the hat has turned to red. Now just go save it in the gun store. Now find a street vehicle or your personal vehicle that's not a bike. Once you sit in the car, um, hover over the outfits. And the other car, then once you sit on the car, Equip your um, outfit with the poker goggles, exit, and the hat should emerge onto it. Now just go save it. I'm gonna save it twice just to be safe. And as you can see, if I switch the outfit and then put it back on, poker goggles will disappear. Just equip twice, and they should show up. And this is how the outfit should look when it's finished. Thank you guys for watching. I hope it helped you guys out. And thank you for the outfit request. And if you could, please subscribe. It's free and it means the world to me. I post best content like this all the time. And if you guys have any outfit requests, don't be afraid to comment them down below because I'll probably do them. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.